Where's the big red button? Pull! Hi guys, I'm Mike, and welcome to the new game on the channel, Delivered Us, the Moon, Fortuna. Now, this is something interesting, because this game may seem like a survival game, but I don't actually think it is. It's something deeper. Basically, Deliver Us the Moon, uh, it's more of a, like a action game. You should actually consider this game more of a, like a movie than a survival game. The story is simple. Earth has run out of its fuels. Uh, basically, there is no way to make energy back on Earth. And then people found a way to harvest helium free from the moon and using like advanced transferring of energy network system, they were delivering energy to the moon, uh, from the moon to the earth. And one day the system shut down. Nobody knows how and without energy, earth could not send a rescue mission. So now you, a lonely astronaut in an abandoned uh, shuttle facility, rocket start facility, hard to say, you are supposed to get to the moon. Sounds simple? Uh, I wish you. Okay. You want to start a new game? Or progress including article progress? Yes, of course I want to start a new game because we haven't even like tested it, so... Carry on, game! Friends and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for... Oh, I can move! <laughs> I thought this was still the cinematic. That was quite nice transition. Okay. So, okay, this radio is still like going around. Investigate, what's this? Uh, Moonman, Far Crossing. Right. A brave astronaut ventures to the moon, his mission to explore the lunar expanse and recover mysteries. While the road to this is desolated and hand creeps many, he knows that he must preserve to save mankind. Read. Okay, so this is this thing. Anything else? I don't think so. Okay. So, yeah, this is like a exploring action game actually uh, I don't actually think this is like a survival thingy so Katina, are you there? You... yeah I think my code name is Fortuna okay so press oh yeah space sword wait can I like she go outside without yeah I can't <laughs> okay buckle up guys suit up sweetness Okay. Ground control to Fortuna One. This is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Confirming. Welcome. Great. Confirm to contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make Thanks. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. No problemo. Right. Let's actually do this thing. So, yeah, you play as the astronaut. You're supposed to get to the moon and find out what happened to the abandoned lunar facility. Zoom. Ooh. WSA colony goes dark. Uh, stop hoping for magic solutions. Where? WSA take off. MPT online. Yes, yeah, so this is like according to the events that happened in the game. Let's take a, like a closer look. Can I actually take a closer look? Fossil fuel depleted. Worse than thought. So basically, this tells you the story of the game. So fossil fuel fuel has been depleted. WSA takes off. Mission to find new energy sources. They find it. They build the MPT transmitter power from the moon to Earth. Uh, lunar colony disaster. Something happened over there. Um, Hagen research facility to remain close. Don't know why. WSA colony goes dark. So all things have been lost. Richly hope has been lost. World celebrities hope and mourns tragedy. Yes, yeah, so something happened and we don't know what. The microwave power transmission. Hey, we're microwaving the Earth. Generates power inside a fusion reactor and sends it wirelessly to receivers on Earth. Fueled by helium-3, harvested on the Moon. While the MPT tower took over a decade to complete, the energy signal traveled rapidly from lunar colony to Earth. The World Space Agency believes that the MPT can transmit enough energy 
for the colony fusion reactor to supply approximately 20% of Earth population. That percentage is expected to rise quickly in another decade. The MPT could power all of Earth, say Dr. Isaac Johnson, the agency lead scientist. Earth will never be in the dark again. Um, yeah, I don't think so, man. <laughs> I don't actually think so. That probably went extremely bad, you know? Hi, guys. Five years after the blackout. The Taurus 5. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. So basically, this is like one of the... Uh, I think this is one of the receiving bases, so... Um, like the transmission of energy was sent from the moon to this place There's like this receiver thingy and then it like charged the batteries or whatever thing and you know everything was Okay, okay, so now everything is dark earth is dying and you the lonely survive the lonely savior of earth need to act And I don't know where to go actually That's a great start of information spread. Okay. Hey, somebody forgot to close this door. What the shit? Hello? Oh, oh, mommy is dead, and daddy is on the moon. Well, it's a girl. Isaac and Elizabeth are proud to announce the arrival of Col Claire's little sister. Oh, inspect. MPT end to age of wires. Yeah, so this is the thing. Uh, read. Let's see. Imagine world free of fossil fuel and pollution. All our energy needs satisfied in the blink of an eye. A system that can wirelessly transmit energy to all over the world and beyond. This is the MPT, the Microwave Power Transmission. In this book, MPT inventor Isaac Jonasson discussed what the future might hold for this revolutionary system. Uh, from what I can see, darkness, mostly. <laughs> Claire, me. Me, daddy, Claire. <laughs> Aww. Looks like things went to shit, man. <laughs> things went really to shit. Oh, great, a book. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So what do we have over here? More pictures? Okay, that's nice. Claire, Kefi. Claire. Okay, so... Scan. What's here? What's this? Mother loss. Elizabeth kept the Johnson family together after her husband Isaac assumed the role of the, on the Lunar Council. After her death, Clarine took care of her sister Kathy before she was taken to the moon to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have been have not been seen since the blackout. Ooh, that's grim. That's really, really grim. Just saying. Okay, okay, okay. Carry on, carry on. Can I go over here? Hello? Nope. Also, is it just me? Or am I like really small? What's this? Flip. Yay! <laughs> Houston! Mission accomplished! <laughs> What's this? Okay. Sputnik Monument. A monument marks the entrance of the Fonskov Condomerate. The facility was abandoned. Until the Fortuna team made it to the base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for the humanity last mission to space. The sign reads To the stars. Yep, yeah, smooth think, my old fella. Don't you worry. I'll be joining you soon. In the stars. So as I was saying, this is like a abandoned facility. Rocket facility, whatever, and you basically use what the things remain here to start the mission to save Earth. One way or another, so press this thing. Yay! So now what, smart asses? <laughs> I have to walk manually in? <laughs> Using stairs? Okay, maybe let's lose the ladder. The game is actually showing me the ladder, so... This, I'm guessing this is like a tutorial thing. So far, I like it a lot. The graphics are gorgeous. The controls are like, quite simple. You just like... Press this to get this, press this to get that. So I'm guessing this is like a tutorial to the entire like puzzle system because after all this is gonna be probably like a, 
uh, like a puzzle game. So, you ready for that, guys? Oh shit, it's dark. <laughs> Darkness has come. There you go. Probably people are like. I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Thanks, Claire. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. I'm like wondering why humanity just didn't use like solar panels or wind turbines or something like that. They just thought that using the power from the moon is the best option and that's the receiver. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will. When you get the MPT back online. Don't you worry, I got this. Give me like five minutes, ten tops, and I'll be back before lunch. Uh, okay, what I need to do over here? Nothing, just walking. Flashlight. Yay, Oh. Nice. <laughs> okay, is there like anything interesting whatsoever over here? Okay, there's like a door over there. Lock it, probably. All of a sudden, it turned into like a horror game. Collect. The power out. Use code 3548 for the door. Collect. Thank you. Okay, so... Let's see. I'm supposed to press this thing. Okay, can I actually interact? Oh, I cannot interact and check the main inventory. Okay, 3548. 3548. There you go. Easy! Right, let's press this thing. I'm guessing this is gonna open the windows. Pull up! Yay! Much better! <laughs> nice! Okay, nothing I can do over here. Right, remember that R goes for the flashlight. Okay, hello! Anybody here? This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. Yeah. The certification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Okay. Uh, in the addition, we invited Ward to now scientists to discuss what could have caused the MPT to remain offline. What might have happened to the lunar colonists and how humanity should move forward. Well, I don't know. Go back to the Stone Age, maybe? <laughs> Start from the beginning? Toggle. Click, click. Oh! What's this? Missing. Read. Okay. Relatives Sketchy Jonathan, Clary Jonathan, Elizabeth Jonathan. So I'm guessing that if Clarina is like talking to me, that that means I'm Katie. Okay. <laughs> no workaholic consumes with creation of the maintenance of MPT, obsesses tendencies, causes rift in personal relationship. Okay. Uh, reclusive after death of wife, Elizabeth Jones. Yeah. That's good old daddy, that's for sure. That's good old daddy. Okay, a little bit of FPS drop over there. Ooh, creepy. This is starting to get creepy. Back inside. Zoom. Ooh, something over there. Mine, solve it first. What's this? Wow, really? Can I take this thing with me? In memory. Hmm. Okay, apparently I cannot take it with me. That's great, let's have some. Alright, let's start the launch sequence before everything is gonna go to shit. Who's this? Scan. To see air. Determined to seek the truth about 2054 blackout and restore the MPT connection, Maria Gonzalez has risen to Fortuna team from the ashes of the WSA since 2055. Maria's team has been secretly working on their mission. And nobody knows anything. Like, nobody is guarding this facility. Honestly, <laughs> that's a little bit of bullshit. Just say, what's this? Okay. What the shit is this? Maria's broken ASA unit. One of the few survivors of the 2048 Hugens cryosleep malfunction. Maria brought her damaged ASE unit back to Earth with her. She's been trying to repair her ASE in hopes of restoring chronographic recordings captured by the device during her time on Hugen's research facility. No fucking idea what you just told to me, game. Interact. Uh, dear Sarah, I remember something, something, something. Not important. 
Bart, Bart already. <laughs> Somebody is taking drugs. Okay, this thing is standing in my way, so can I push it? I can push it, okay. Rub it. There you go. Uh, move, move it. It's moving, but very slowly. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, this works. Uh, ah. There you go. Okay, release this thing. Carry on. Okay, flashlight again. Right, stairs goes up. Anything interesting whatsoever over here? I don't think so. Okay, let's just go. Hmm, this looks like helium containers, I have to say. <laughs> it reminds me actually of, I know, uh, forgot the name of the game, like the number 20, 2250, I think. Like the one when you build a colony, like you build a city, then you go to the one of the poles, and then you go to the moon. And basically at the, at the end game is that you also like harvest helium, you build like a power source and then you deliver the energy back to Earth. So that's something like similar, I think. Fortuna one is a go! Thank you, everyone. Hey, no problem. We're gonna blow up very soon. What's this? Class office. The shit is this? Listen. Isolate three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You are just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Causes of the blackout. <laughs> Aww. Don't you worry. I'm gonna solve this issue with no problemo. I'm good at fixing stuff. Lucier. Clarice Rocket Modeler. Recruiting State of the University. Claire Justin designed the Tartarus 5 rocket from the Fortuna mission. Clary was eager to join the team to uncover the fates of her father and sister on the moon. Oh. Oh, so the sister was on the moon already. Okay, so we're not related to them. That's good, I guess. Custody denied. What the shit? The court rules that the father Isaac Johnson, as the next of the kin, has been gratefully full custody over Katri, Katri Christina Johnson after the mother Elizabeth Johnson's ultimate death. At her current guardian, you are under ordinated to ensure that Kathy is brought for safety passage to the moon to be reunited with her father. Sincerely, the Honorable Judge Richard H. Well then, Mr. Judge, I think shit went... <laughs> I think shit hit the bucket after that decision. Just saying, man. Just saying. I don't think there's anything over here. Alright, carry on then. To the mission control! Get the rocket Woo! to launch as fast as possible. Yeah, I'm working on that. Okay, I need to press something. How I can prepare the rocket to launch? I'm, I'm, I don't know how this thing works. Okay, maybe here. Yeah! Okay, initiate power reboot. Reboot! The rebooting. Calculating there you go. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Yeah, can you like just wait over the, the storm? Like, what's the problem? I don't get it. Interact. Go! Do it! Uh oh, you fucked it up. <laughs> it's like starting old car. Come on! Work! <laughs> Work! God damn it! <laughs> The murder is behind us. Uh, close both fuel vials. Okay, I need to go somewhere and close both fuel thingies. And then it's supposed to go back here and press the thingy. Okay, that sounds easy. Ah, I see the fuel things. Right, don't you worry guys, I got this. I hope I got this. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Come on. Ah, 
Think of humanity. Last fucking savior of humanity. I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be famous. Woman will be jumping on me all day all long. Just can't wait for all of those tits. Oh shit, man. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be great. Though. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> Have some! Five minutes into the facility, already broke something. Found like an old elevator system, so I'm looking for something to actually stand on, so I'll be able to close the thingy. Oh! Haha! <laughs> there you go, come on. Pull it, pull it, pull it. I am so fucking smart. Okay, release this thing, press the button. Press the button one more time. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Now you can grab it. You can continue to wait for the elevator to stop. Oh, the FPS drop. <laughs> okay, now we grab it. We go it over here. You turn right. Okay, you turn left-ish. Come on, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Come on! Together! Okay, release this bullshit. And now we go over here. We go up. You do this thing. And there you go. Mission accomplished. Houston, we don't have problem. Uh, astronaut, this is based. Uh, Houston is basically destroyed and wrecked. Over. Okay. Well. The hydrogen valves are closed. Head back inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch. The fuck you think I'm doing? Also, where the hell are all of you? Do it. Do it. For humanity. Yes. <laughs> It's gonna be funny if they all, all of a sudden the rocket will decide to start. <laughs> That'll be hilarious. The rocket is primed. You have to launch now before the dust storm destroys the rocket and everything we've worked. Oh shit! This is a time. Oh fuck you with the time events, man. Go 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 go. <laughs> the FPS just went to shit. Go! Run faster, you piece of shit! What the fuck he's doing? Faster! Faster! Press the button, come on, press it! Ugh. Faster! <sighs> Save humanity! Think about all of the tits! Think about all of the tits! The tits! Okay. <laughs> Almost there! Almost there! Go, go, go! Why the fuck you have to be so many gates around? This is bullshit! Uh, supposed to go in? Okay, climb! Go! Okay. Not doing anything. He's going on his own! Yes! The cockpit! Initiate start sequence! Houston, we are clear! I told you Houston is dead. Online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Initiate launch. How? Where are the... Where's the... Where are the brakes? Where's the gear? Oh, this thing. Flip, flip, flip. Ground launch sequencer started. Okay. <laughs> Orbital access arm retracting. Be a little more careful. This is fucking awesome! Okay, wait for it. Yeah! Just like practiced. Okay, now what? Does it does it matter which I'm gonna flip? Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Uh A1, A3, uh B3, B4. One, two, three, four. Auxiliary power units booting up. This is awesome! <laughs> oh my god, another one. Gaseous oxygen and armor. Try to go easy on the equipment and safely in place. <laughs> okay, fill the sound suspicion system tanks. Quickly release all valves. Complete. Sound suppression system engaged. Okay, now what? Ah! This thing. Anything else? Hydrogen burn-off system activated. Rocket boosters ready for ignition. Standing by for countdown. Where's the big red button? Pull! Rocket boosters, ignition start. Engines ready in five, four, three, two, start, one. We have lift off! Later, guys! <laughs> Holy shit! I don't know where I'm going with fucking shaking me all the fucking times. Can you stop with the shaking? This is not helping. <laughs> oh, fuck my helmet. Oh my god! <laughs> this is great! 
I don't see a jack shit, but this is great. That's all! <laughs> Remember me! <laughs> Deep shit! Oh, Jesus. Yay! Departure from Earth. Destination. Stop shaking! I'm trying to read this. Pers uh, Persona Space Station. Wow! <laughs> I love space! It's like huge instructions over here. I have to like do everything manually. Hey! I know how to drive a rocket, okay? It's not that hard. Back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about the future. That's pretty. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson space station. Okay. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, clear? Uh, we need to head down to the shelter. These uh, winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must. <laughs> yeah, just as I thought. Could you write it on a piece of paper? Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this drink and be on my way. Prepare the lunar. Lun uh, launch uh, sequence, find the control center, no, launch the rocket, complete the second stage of the launch sequence, complete the first stage. So now what? Main engine cut off. Okay. Right. This thing and this thing. Okay, that's stage separation and second stage ignition. Pulling! Uh oh. We have a blackout. <laughs> Not good! Hey, there we are! <laughs> the entire Earth is covered in dust. What in the fuck has happened there? I mean, you you won't tell me that because of lack of energy, all of a sudden the entire Earth went into like a gigantic dust storm because nobody's gonna believe in that thing. Something else has happened there. But what? I don't know. We will find out very soon. And deliver us the moon. <laughs> This is great. This is really fun. I think we're gonna crash. Houston? Oh wait, I forgot Houston is dead. Uh, Claire? What in the shit is this? I think this is the energy transmitter. No, it's the... Yeah, it is technically. It's the energy transmitter and the station as well. So we're supposed to dock to this thing and basically find out what have broken. Okay, objective. Dog the station, alright. Interact. Movement. I'm supposed to dog this. Oh my fucking god! Okay, move down. Control. Moving back. Moving down. Okay, there we go. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I'm gonna fucking crash. Too fast! Slow down! 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 Slow down the rocket! This is not good. Hold on! Hold it! Hold it! There we go! And I wanted to say dog, but it's not working. There you go. Like a glove. Okay. MPT network. Ground control to the Tuna One. You must have reached the Pearson Space Station by now. The storm has severely damaged our instruments, so we can't read your location or receive any messages. But we can detect fluctuations in the MPT network. If you can hear this, when you reach the control center, try to find out what's wrong with the MPT connection so you can bring it back online. Okay, thanks. 
Roll. Hey, I'm in space. Wee! <laughs> okay, let's play like this, baby. <laughs> this is a good idea. No, it's not. This is a terrible idea. Uh, okay, so right. Oh, what's this? Hey, one day I'll do the same. I think we just did. <laughs> just saying. Okay, so anything else around this thing to do? No, I don't think so. So. Oxygen is offline, which is nice. Station power very low, which is very bad. Life support offline. Okay. Should be easy to do. Should be very, very, very easy to do. Um, wow. Holy shit, it's so nice. Okay, so... Can I go over here? I don't think so. Can I go over here? I think I can. Right, so this is like an airlock, I believe. Press the button. Oxygen depleting. Oh. Well, fuck. Okay. Change of plans. <laughs> That's bullshit. Okay. So this is gonna be the thing that we're gonna try to do in the next episode because I'm running currently at a record time. Uh, I wanted to make this episode like the introduction to the game. I think you get the idea what actually it's expecting us over here. So I'm feeling we're gonna have a lot of fun with this game. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. For now though, I'm gonna leave it as over here. If you want to try the game yourself, link in the description below uh, to the Steam page. As always, go ahead, try it. Let me know how it went. But my adventure will probably start for real in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.